One of the main and most crucial parts of Stevie Ray Vaughan's playing is repetition. Repetition. And more repetition. When he was soloing, he would often just live in one area of the guitar and really work it out and be super repetitive, but it was never monotonous or boring. So I want to talk a little bit about how we can borrow the idea of repetition from Stevie and put it into our own playing. So I'm going to play a lick and some concepts that I really think speak to this idea of repetition right in the style of Stevie Ray Vaughan or as close as I can get. And what I'm going to show you is actually in my new course called Under the Influence Texas Blues SRV Edition. The course is entirely devoted to Stevie Ray Vaughan. There's going to be lots of licks, lots of techniques, and even a huge section on tone. And since you're along for the ride in the video, I'm going to go ahead and give you the tab and the track for this lesson free. That link is also in the video. So let's uh, do some playing and do some teaching and see how we can use this repetition to our benefit. Let's do it. <laughs> So some SRV inspired stuff there, double stops obviously, but a lot of that repetitious stuff in A minor pentatonic, that's where we're living. So let's talk a little bit about the sound before we jump into breaking it down. This is a 68 Fender Custom Shop, um, it's the Mike Landau version, uh, feels very much like 68 or late 60s strats I've played. Uh, for now, it's the kind of best Fender guitar I think I've ever had. I put. Um, Lawler pickups in it. This is a special 64 set. Then I'm going directly into this old 65 Fender basement here. No pedals. And I'm harnessing the power of that amp with one of those aux boxes over there. This is like my favorite thing in the world that I've managed to build for myself, this amp wall. Um, this thing here is called the Amp Maniac. This is a voltage regulator. It's keeping the voltage um, at the kind of, you know, place where these old amps like it. You know, in Nashville here, I've seen it 123 volts or more out of the wall, which can do damage to the vintage transformers over time. So really, all I'm doing is really pegging, well, I'm not really pegging it, but the amp's on like four, so I'm not really diming it. But I am pushing the treble a lot and the bright switch to get us that, you know, SRV bite. <laughs> It's going into the aux box, which is providing um, the cabinet simulation and a little bit of plate reverb as well. They actually had a preset called Texas Lenny that I used and manipulated. One other thing I do when I'm doing this kind of stuff, and I want to be really in the SRV world, you know, you got to have your guitar tuned flat, and strats just sound awesome tuned flat. I'm in standard right now, but the Digitech drop pedal will get me there. So check this out. I can actually take this guitar. <laughs> I can click this and have it go down a half step with little to no latency. And when I play that Stevie Ray stuff, it transforms it. It's not the same. I mean, we put that on, we do a little, you know. Yeah. Takes me right there without having to change my strings and set up my guitar, but I'll probably do that to this eventually because it just feels great to have a strat in E flat tuning or half step low tuning, whatever you want to call it. So let's break down that idea that I played there. It's all out of A minor pentatonic. We're well, just gonna start there because a lot of us know that already. And what I did was I started with this kind of classic blues bend into a double stop, which is just on the fifth fret. Let me get on the camera too a little bit better for you guys. Um, fifth frets, first and second strings. Now I'll play that twice, bend up. You can see I'm using my volume control to kind of give me a cleaner tone. 
And I'm gonna go in detail in the course. I do this lick again in a different key. So you, if you jump into the course, there's lots of detail there, longer lessons. So we bend up a whole step. When we release that bend in that string, it falls into our first finger. And if you do it right, it should actually kind of mute that string. Then what I do is I'm gonna play on the seventh fret, second and third string. What I'm gonna do there is I'm actually going to take and bar those two strings, which takes me a little bit out of the minor pentatonic by adding that F sharp note in there. But it's a classic SRV-ism. And then that big vibrato, I do a big vibrato lesson in the course too. Um, and it's on the third string C note there. And when you learn how to get that, the bigger and wider you can get it, the more sort of SRV inspired it'll be. And I do that over a measure. One, two, three, a four. Two, three, four. Now I'm gonna get to the repetitive And all that is, is I'm gonna start on the C on this high note here on the uh, first string, eighth fret. And we do what I call a little quarter step bend. It's barely a bend. And what you have to do is bend and then release to that first string, first finger, fifth fret A. And then toggle it down and grab the E note on the second string, fifth fret. What I might do, if, if you're just getting started with this kind of stuff and it feels kind of challenging, just go and get that sequence happening of the C, A, E, C, A, E, 8, 5, 5. When that feels good, and it's there's no harm in doing something over and over and over again. This whole lesson is about re freaking repetition. So take that little piece and really get it because you're going to use it everywhere. So. And when you feel good about the sequence, then add the bend. And that's one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, whoops, let me do it again. Three, four, one triplet. So a whole measure of those triplets, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Now we're gonna do the same kind of thing, and this is the magic of Stevie. Same phrasing moved on different strings. So what we're gonna do is that same three note sequence again, now on the second string, eighth fret, eight, five, four, sorry, eight, five, five, eight, five. Then a whole step bend on that second string. Now, I'm not so much of a devotee that I'm using 13s. These are nine gauge strings because I have to play this guitar and all sorts of varieties of things and I can't have one that's really gonna beat the crap out of my hands. If I played four nights a week with this stuff, then I would you know, get up to that level. Lots of players that you know play heavy strings. I'm anywhere between a nine and an 11 on particular guitars. You do what works for you, okay? And there's a whole discussion in the course about tone and strings and guitars and all that stuff. So that second part, it's the same idea, but again, please see the repetition and why this is beautiful. Eight, five, five, eight, five, five. You could do that over and over again, and I do it at the end of the lick while I'll do And those little snippets I shared at the beginning of the video are, are the inspiration. And that's where I got this kind of a thing from. So work on one. And then to make it more SRV flavored, you wanna put those little bends in there. And you can take that concept and put it in other spots. Any little idea that you have, repeat it over again, over and over again. You hear?
hear him do it all the time, even when he's doing things like... He just didn't do it once and ended. He went and kept doing it and created a little theme and a little sentence. So take that idea and just take a, a snippet. And that's all you need sometimes to really get into a player's style in their brain and their hands and all that kind of stuff. So if you got a strap, if you got a Fender style amp, I talk a lot about that stuff in the course. You can dial up some fun tones like this. There's some little tricks and secrets to doing that, whether you're using uh, a real amplifier or a modeler or some pedals. Um, there's a lot of ways that we can get that sound and then put the licks to it and then you're on your way. Easy as that, right? Anyway, I hope it helps. Like I said, the course adds a lot of that kind of stuff if you're interested in checking that stuff even more. But more so, make sure you grab that link in that track. It's a lot of fun stuff there, and I hope you see that you can add some of this stuff to your playing, particularly from the, the angle of being repetitive. Create something, repeat it, move on. Create something, repeat it, move on. If it's good enough for Stevie, it's good enough for us. I hope you dug it. Don't forget to get all the goodies below with the links. You check out the gear too. I put links for the drop pedal and the ox box. All right, that's enough for now. I'm gonna go practice some SRV. I'll see you next time.